everybody, welcome back to the All Out Motorsports YouTube channel. I'm your host, Alex Bowman, and today we are putting new brakes on Nike. Let's get started. So, kind of like I touched on in the last video, I do not like the new style brakes that came on Nike. As you can see, they're these uh, little Pro XL brakes. Um, I, I like the theory of them and everything. The only issue is that uh, they don't have any adjustment on them, which I'll touch on in a second on uh, why that's an issue. And then uh, also the bigger issue is that they are notorious for having their seals blow out and then all the fluid comes out and then you don't have brakes. So I got some new brakes to replace these and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help a lot more. Uh, these new brakes I have actually have adjustment on them. So what I had to do with these Pro Excel brakes to get them where I like them is, uh, so if you can see in there, you can kind of see right next to the, the little bit of gap there is there. So what I had to do was actually, if you come up here, I had to use uh, use this um, heel rest to prop against the pedal to keep some pressure on the pedal to keep the gap where I want it with the brake rotor. Now that I've disconnected the brake pedal, uh, if you come down here, you can see I had it there so it was pulling about that distance from there to there. That's how much pressure was staying on the brake pedal the whole time. And if we come back around to here, you can see how much bigger the gap is now on both sides of the brake rotor, which I don't like there to be that big of a gap. I like the brake rotor and the brake pad to be like a centimeter apart from each other. That way, as soon as I touch the brake, they start engaging and there's no extra play or travel or anything in there. So, I am going to go ahead and start the process of switching these out. Uh, if you check it out, these are the new brakes that I got. They're just typical MCP brakes. Um, they're not the mini light brakes. I don't really care that much about weight because this cart is the one that uh, is always ran with heavy. So, I have to add a bunch of weight to it and everything anyways. So, not that big of a deal if there's some extra weight on it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to replace these. Um, the big, bigger issue is getting the lines bled and everything. Basically, it's just clipping this wire here, taking those bolts out, putting the bolts through here, connecting the lines back on. Nice and simple, but uh, we'll probably have some issues that come up. So uh, let's get started.
guys, I am such an idiot. So I've been working on these brakes for a long time. Got them on pretty easy, but then uh, getting them bled and filled and everything took forever. Referenced by the fact, it's now dark outside. And when I started, it was light out. Like, I've been fighting with these things to get them filled and bled for like at least an hour, hour and a half. Only to realize that, uh, so you remember how I said something about, uh, I had to kind of have with the old brakes, the pedal propped up a little bit with a little bit of pressure on it all the time to get the spacing how I liked it? Well, I forgot, um, well, just didn't really think about that affecting me getting the new brakes filled and bled. So I'm sitting here fighting with it. Um, I've got this, like, I've got this, like, bottle that you, like, put this in the master cylinder and you can just, like, turn it up. Oh, gosh. That was not smart. Uh, you just turn it upside down the master cylinder and squeeze, and it's supposed to just push fluid through the line super easy and get them all super filled, like, almost instantly. Well, I'm trying to do that, and I can't get it forced through the lines. And I'm like, I've done this before. It's super easy. So, like, I try a whole bunch of different stuff. I try bleeding them regular ways, whatever. I can't get fluid through the lines. I eventually kind of, I'm pushing on the pedal, and I look up here, and I kind of notice... There's like a little nick on the pedal um, from where it was hitting the heel stop where I had it like propped up. I was like, oh, that's not good. And then I was like, oh, wait, that might be the reason why it's I'm like the, I'm not letting the master cylinder relax all the way. So that might be why the lines aren't filling. So I took the heel stop off, let it relax all the way, and the, the lines immediately filled. Like immediately. Took 30 seconds from the fill bled them really quick in about a minute and they're perfect ready to go now would have taken like three to five minutes or something and i've been fighting with it for like an hour and a half oh yeah so that's what i mean when i say uh sometimes things don't always go the way that i'm hoping so that was very frustrating and now i have quite the mess too because in the process of doing all that brake fluid got everywhere like i've already partially cleaned it up some but like this is all brake fluid here there's a bunch like up in here like the stands all covered in it that's all old brake fluid and stuff so i've got quite the mess to clean up now and i'm feeling kind of stupid but you know what you live and you learn um i know a bit more about how uh master cylinders work now too so uh these brakes better work, and I better like them, is all I can say. <laughs> all right, got that all cleaned up, everything taken care, taken care of. Um, one thing I need to finish up the brakes is uh, with the extra width of these, the bolt that was in there isn't quite long enough. Uh, it doesn't really go all the way through the nut, so I'm going to have to go and get some longer bolts for that. And then once I do that, I'll be able to put the... Um, Put the guard back on and really button everything up but that won't really affect anything that that'll be super easy to do once i go get that bolt yeah so uh should have been a pretty easy project ended up being a lot longer but you know that happens sometimes uh kind of distracted right now there's some really big bugs flying around in the garage right now i don't they're one of them i don't know where it just went um, but there's been like big beetles and there was a spider like that big around and then like something else flying around up by the light and yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like bugs. I was fine with the cicadas. They were cool. Everything else is uh, nah. So yeah, I don't like that. I was going to show you guys them, but they all are missing right now, which scares me even more. Yeah. All right, anyways, I need to figure out what I'm working on next. Okay, one of them's back. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. Look at that thing. Oh, come on, focus back, focus back. There we go. I don't know what that thing is, but uh, I don't like it. It keeps flying around my head, too. Uh, upon further deliberation, I decided I'm just going to call it a night for tonight. Um, I don't really have a ton to do because 
Uh, the racing this past weekend didn't happen due to rain, and everything was kind of pretty much ready to go already. Uh, the biggest project I had was getting those brakes done. Uh, next week I'll have to uh, lube bearings and clean out bearings and change the oil and engines and everything. But I'm going to leave that for next week because we don't have any racing for this, week e this weekend either. This weekend's 4th of July, so uh, one, I have to work. Two, there's not a ton going on. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go hop on iRacing. It's been a long time, so I've had some free time to get on there. Super excited to go put some work in on there. Probably run some like midgets or wing sprint cars or something. Uh, yeah, iRacing's fun. I love iRacing. Uh, I actually have a video coming out on that uh, middle of July. Uh, I'll be out of town for a few weeks, so I'm going to pre-shoot a video to be released um, about my iRacing setup uh, one of those weeks that I'm gone. So with that, remember to like and subscribe, make some comments down below, and remember, pecker up, hammer down.